So we spent a lot of time working with our inbox. And while that is the place where you're going to mainly spend the majority of your time, I do want to highlight some of the other features and sub applications that are available within your Outlook suite. To start, let's talk a little bit about the calendar. Let's just jump right into it. So as you can see here, back on the home page, hopefully we're all, I'm just going to close out this message here. We're all comfortable with the inbox navigating our different icons. I talked a lot about my best friend, the ribbon up top. Let's take a look at the bottom left hand side of our screen. Maybe we remember from the introductory video, I talked about how we have quick and easy access to some additional sub applications right from here. And we're just going to left click to open up our calendar icon. Um, and as always, we'll just start off with a basic navigation uh, introduction, get used to where all the buttons are. Um, so of course, our calendars, maybe some, have, some of you have some familiarity with it. Uh, for some of you who are new, there's a couple features we like to highlight here. Again, just going to close out these pop-ups. You'll get those pop-ups from time to time. Um, of course, as we've been talking about throughout this course, the ribbon up top is always going to give you some access to some different uh, actions that you can take. So let's just run through them very quickly. Um, of course, you can always schedule a new appointment. This is a newer feature to Outlook because you actually have the ability just to schedule a new meeting. Uh, so instead of doing an appointment and then selecting a meeting, you can actually schedule a meeting right from here. And you can choose how you want that meeting invitation to be sent. Um, do you want it to be sent as an email message? Do you want it to be sent as an appointment? Um, you can have a meeting within your groups and contact list. You can even add some tasks to that meeting as well. Here you have access to creating a Skype meeting. And then here is how you can navigate to change the look of your calendar. We'll talk about that in just a second, but I want to hold off on this for just a little bit. Uh, so let's navigate to the left-hand side menu here. Um, and of course, as you can see by the fall, it'll just show us a two-month view. Um, and if I just click on the arrows here on the left and right, I can navigate November, December, so on and so forth. And as you can see, as I do that, it does change our main reading pane here for the calendar view. But of course, we'll just stick to today's date. On the bottom here, you have access to additional calendars. And again, we'll talk about that in later videos, but you have the ability to add your own personal calendars, um, your own personal groups, like certain personal appointments. Um, we'll show you how to categorize your different calendars again. Um, you can share calendars between different groups and contexts on your list, as you can see down here. Um, and you can even add in calendars straight from the groups, which we talked about a little earlier. So again, we'll dive into all of this in the later videos, but I just want to show you just a basic view. Navigating to the top right again, um, as I mentioned, you are able to change the look of your main reading pane here, of your main calendar view. And the way that we do that is by this ribbon action up top here. Uh, so if I don't want to see the entire week, I can always click on day. And here I have, I have access to all my meetings for the day there. I can change it to just the work week. The main difference between week and work week is that if I do work week, it's just Monday through Friday. If I do the week, I'll get the full Sunday through Saturday view. Uh, so again, helpful to know the differences between there. Select the one that works best for you. I can always do my monthly view. And then here I have my schedule view. Um, this schedule view is really, really helpful if you are trying to coordinate or schedule meetings between people in your organization. Um, you'll get, be able to get like a day-by-day -day glance of what everyone's doing hour by hour at a certain time. Um, so again, it'll just make it a lot easier to schedule meetings or appointments as needed. So that was a very quick overview of what the calendar is, how to navigate the different icons. Um, in the next couple of videos, we'll dive a bit deeper into all the helpful features that the calendar has available to its users.